I can see you. Can you see me? She says, yes, I can see you, Grandpa. I'm watching you. There she goes. Good morning, everybody. Grandpa, Adler Farms, how are you? Hey, I'm throwing you a curveball today. But I took off work today, got some errands to run, something you're gonna be interested in too. Might even take you along. But first things first, we're gonna go down and take care of the, the animals. By the time you see this video, you're gonna know about one really big change down there at the farm. Uh, if you watch Chad, Chad of, of uh, my son, Chad Adler Farms, which most of you do, uh, watch him and you watch us. Uh, Chad uh, took Smokey to his new farm and you'll probably see at least two videos about it before you see this one. But it's a, it's a good thing and I'm gonna, I'll, t I'll tell you why as we walk down here because I hear, I hear the goats. And by the way, if you watch me on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, you know, I'll show little snippets of things that I do. I began this is another big project that you all knew I was working on. This is probably the, one of the big biggies. See these T posts right here? This is the beginning of the new area for the animals, all right? So I drove these T posts in. I got a new toy. I got a battery powered T post driver. That's really gonna help a lot. I was kind of waiting on that to do this. I can't drive all these by hand. There's no way, it's just too, uh, too difficult. I've been kind of trying to do that on days that I'm off and do it in the morning while it's still hot. Something else we need to talk about, all right? Short stack. I pinned a comment to the top of the last video because by the time that video came out, short stack, he had passed away, but I didn't, we didn't have time to go in and edit the video and add anything. That's just kind of how YouTube works. Hi birds, Magneto and the ladies. Hey, yeah, you guys do all right last night. Hey, you're the, you're the guardians now. Is that scary? You should be okay. Good grief. You got horns. Ain't nobody mess with you. Yeah. Come on, let's go eat breakfast. Come on, let's go. Come on. Hey, what's that horn, partner? You got my old big fella. Big fella. Here, let's get this. Let's get you going. Come on. Hey, birds. Come here. Come on. Where's, uh, where, oh, there she, <laughs> there they are. That's gray, sassy, Magneto. Magneto, you, why don't you get on the other side? He can get on the other side. Yeah, he can get on the other side. That a boy. Come on over here. Everybody here happy? Did we get, did we get enough? Huh? Did we get enough? Is everybody good? Is you good? You gotta have goats, man. They're just, they're just too much fun. They're ornery. They're into everything. They're into everything. A lot of you already knew that and know that. Now we'll go and feed the piggy pigs. It is a nice, uh, cool, cool morning this morning. I say cool. I know it's got to be probably in the upper 60s, but it's, you know, feels, feels good. Nice, nice breeze. We're, we're going to start getting warm again the next couple of days up in the lower 90s. I think something like that, maybe high 80s, which is pretty, which is more normal for around here. So that's not too, too bad at all. Miss Lola, she is unfazed by all that screaming and hollering down there. Goodness sakes. Oh, I'll put her food in her bowl, she'll hear me, maybe. She's a pretty sound sleeper, a really sound sleeper. Let's give Miss Lola her feed. Hey, big girl. Hey, big girl, you hear them pit? Oh my goodness. Hey, hi, Lola. She's out of it, boy. She is sleeping. She is a sleeping now. Go ahead and put her food in her dish over here. She'll wake up pretty soon and come right over here. She'll know. She'll wake up here in a minute. I don't want to wake her up and startle her. I don't know how she sleeps with all that noise, I'm here to tell you. I can see her breathing, by the way, folks. She's, she's okay. What are you girls doing? Good grief, I know. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. I'm gonna, if I pour the water in first, somebody suggested that. I get, well, you won't even let me. Yeah, I know. See, Grandpa, we don't want water. I know. Here, there's the food. There's the food. Here we go. They'll, then they'll separate. All right, let that water that food, that, soak up that water, right? Oh boy. Everybody doing okay this morning? We're doing all right. Mm -hmm. 
Olivia is a good girl. How you doing, Bella? Hmm? Yeah. Last night I brought out, you can see little remnants of lettuce. I brought out some lettuce. Uh, I actually got online, I searched, which I've done a thousand times. Oh, there's L Lola, honey. Lola, I got your food. You went the other way, kiddo. I know, it's not here, honey. It's not over here. Come here, come on, Lola. Hey, come here, Lola. Come on, babe. Hey, come here, Lola. Lola, hey. Lola, turn around. Come here, you know your food's up here. Come here, Lola. Come on, Lola. Lola, that's not in a bucket. Come here. Come on, that a girl. Come on. Come on, Lola. Come on. That a girl. Come on. Sometimes I wonder a little bit if she can hear real well. I don't, I don't know. But I know they don't have great eyesight. Come on, girl. It's up here. She'll follow me up here. Maybe she does, and I just, just my imagination, because sometimes she'll wake up when I just walk by. Mags, clear, clear the, clear a path. Here she comes. All right, woo, breakfast. Yeah, one of these days we're gonna get those piggy piggies loose out there for her, but like I said last time, Grandpa just ain't quite ready yet. But I do know one thing, you know, being around him every day, you're thinking, well, they don't seem to be growing very fast, but I look back at some past videos and they're growing. If I were to pick them up right now, that'd be a challenge, you know? But as I was saying, I gotta go down and get, put their water in here. As I was saying, yesterday I went to the store and I have looked up before what kind of treats everybody likes and the general consensus for everybody on the farm, best thing to do would be lettuce. So I got some lettuce, brought it down here, put it out for everybody to eat. And I want you to know, maybe because they're just not used to it, they let her lay. The chickens didn't touch it. The goats didn't touch it. Pigs didn't eat it. And I'm thinking, what, what, what's, 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 what do you mean you're not going to eat lettuce? What's going on? Well, I was curious to come back this morning and find out how much of it was gone. And at least in the uh, pigs area here, Olivia and Bella, it's, uh, it's gone, pretty much gone. So they did eat it. So that's good to know because I bought several. Well, I bought like three head of lettuce. I didn't know how much to get. And last night I distributed between all the animals one whole head of lettuce. We get over to the chickens and even in the goats area, it looks like it's all gone to me. So that's cool. So I can do that. Get them lettuce. Watch out, girl. Let's fill up their swimming hole slash drinking water here. Fill up their pool. Okay, I need to put some water in Lola's uh, wallow for today. I'm sure she'll get in there today. Young lady, you follow me around. I know what you want. So yeah, you get an egg, don't you? Yeah, you get an egg. I always give them an egg. They love eating. They don't eat the shell. They'll just eat the yolk. So big fella. Magneto and the girls, the two are staying here. They're just so used to it. It'd be a little tough on them out there, you know. So we've agreed they're going to stay here. Keeping the goats. We're going to work out a split on the, on the birds. Now that short stack is gone, I'm pretty sure I'm keeping foghorn. Uh, and most of the chickens in the big pen and several in the little one. And we'll just combine them over there at the house. The turkeys are going to go to his neighbor, the same place that Miss Red went. I know what the big question is. Grandpa, are you going to get another livestock guardian dog? We've talked about that and talked about that. Having Smokey here was great. Her purpose was to protect these animals which she did. I mean, we, we, I, none of us had any problem with leaving these animals here and knew that Smokey was going to be on guard. So there's really aren't any predators right now that we would need a livestock guardian dog to keep away. You know, if I had a dog like that, even a livestock guardian dog, I would want them to have, I would be wanting more contact, closer. I would even want that dog maybe to be able to come out of the gate, out of the pen during the day, hang out, with us or whatever, and then at night come back into the pen. I would want to train him that way. Uh, I don't. I wanted to. And, you know, I don't know. That may be wrong, wrong or right. I've seen other. I've watched. You know, everybody's got guardian live, livestock guardian dogs. I would want a, an animal like that to have the best of both worlds. I want it to be a guard dog, but I want to be able to interact. And I, I can't. I don't want to get another dog right now and put it down here. Uh, but, but I might consider it when we get all the fencing up there to where 
uh, that dog could be closer to us and get in and out and in and out. That all being said, getting a livestock guardian dog is not off the table, but I want conditions to be just right if we do end up having to do that. What other animals are we going to get to? Well, I don't know. We are going to get some other animals. I want to expand a little bit. Before we go do that, I've got them all together here. So how's my, how's the boys this morning, huh? Everybody doing all right? Yeah, we doing okay. What's up, Batman? What's up, big boy? Mm -hmm. Don't look at me. So you can't look at me. Say, we're not looking at you, Grandpa. P-Dub, look at Grandpa. Look at me, everybody wants to see your pretty face. Look at him, see, he turns his face. He says, I ain't looking. P-Dub, look. Look into the camera. You got a little whisker thing going on right there. I didn't see that. I didn't see that little whisker thing going on there, buddy. Look at that, ain't that cute? See, now you're looking in the camera because you're looking away from me and the camera's over there. Huh? Oh, Mr. Fox. It's old Batman. You're looking me kind of in the eye there. I like that. Pretty close. I'm getting one eye anyhow. All right, listen, Grandpa's got to go feed some chickens. You guys be good. Now, if you'll notice when they bang around like this, did you see that? These two stand up and go at it. They'll stand up, the two little ones on their, on their back feet. Batman just stands there because he, he don't have to get up on his hind legs. If he did, he'd probably knock them over. All right, hang on, I've, I've got distracted. I love hanging out with the critters. Okay, come on, ladies. Come here, ladies. Here we go, come here. Now, without short stack in here, I think we got 13 hens in here. All right, just a minute. I know, hang on, don't, I know. Hang on a minute. Here, let's get you over here. I know, let me get, let's get you going. Get over there. And Chad will take, I think, I, I don't know, he's probably gonna take six or seven. We'll have to, we'll have to see. We're still talking about that, but anyhow, short stack. You saw the video where I came out and he was pretty uh, kind of kind of just, you know, sitting over there, hanging out, not not too active. And I put him over there and, and, and isolated him, gave him that food and water. And I just I left him alone. They said, you know, keep him calm. So, you know, I, just, I sat there with him for a little bit and, you know, he 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 wasn't breathing heavy. There were no outward signs of any trauma. There was just, I mean, it's just a, a, a bird that just had no energy. I, you know, his tail, tail was down. And so I thought, well, we'll just give him some time. I came back that afternoon, that evening, and he was, he was laying down. He wasn't standing up and he didn't try to run from me. Still, in, he was in that, in the little dog house over there. So I got a syringe from the house and I put water in the syringe and I literally put it up to his beak and got him some water. He drank some water. He had eaten or something had eaten the bread. I assume it was him, it was right in front of him. I don't know. So I thought, well, that's a good sign. And so I, I pet him and I told everybody was, you know, I said, hey, you got a lot of people rooting for you. And, praying for you, you know, little fella, come on. I said, you can, you know, I talked to him and I pet him and, you know, again, he looked, he looked okay, except for the weakness part, you know, and he wasn't labored breathing. There was no squawking, no nothing, folks. I just, I don't know. Anyway, went to bed that night, came over probably mid-morning the next morning. I had to work for a little bit, came over here and the little fella was, he was, he was gone in the same position I left him, you know, he, he, I, I, I don't believe in my heart that he, he suffered. I don't, I don't think there was, I don't, I don't know, you know, uh, I, I have no idea what that was about. What did I do? I just went like that. I don't know. Did I move too fast? Are you okay? Come here. Hey, everybody, it's okay. They all ran over and, hey, it's okay. Come here. So, you know, that's how that went, folks. Uh, I think we did the best we could. Well, they said it could be something from birth, you know, some birth defect that finally just manifested, manifested itself, even though he was awfully young. But he, uh, he was the little runt, you know, but he got to, you know, I, I look at it this way, he had the best life. He, somebody said, well, maybe he ate something that, that you know, wasn't good for, for him. Well, they all ate the same thing. They're all in this same area, this same pen, folks. I mean, he ate what they did. There was nothing, this was it. You know, I didn't introduce anything new whatsoever. In my eyes, every animal here, they're all equal. 
I'll do whatever it takes for any of them to, to ensure their health uh, to the best of my abilities. In my mind, they're all, they're, it's all the same, all right? I love them all the same. It don't, it don't, there's no monetary value based. I don't, I don't say, well, I only paid five bucks for that chicken. I don't care if it lives or dies. That, you ain't gonna hit that, no, 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 nope. Anyhow, I take things like that very, very, grandma will tell you, you know, and I know a lot of you go, hey, it's okay, it's just chicken, but I take it very, I take it really, really hard. You know, well, grandpa, why do you do this? Well, the rewards like this are, or long range too, you know, then then because because you do give them the best life they have and they these, you know, we're going to move them over here and we're going to get that new chicken pen and we're going to chicken coop and, you know, uh, there are definitely rewards for raising these animals. You boys, you're going to, here we go, boom, oh, that is really something to see when they do that and they're just playing. Okay, here it comes again. Get ready. Here it comes. Boom! So if you hear that knocking in the background, it's the boys button heads. I brought uh, lettuce in here last night, put it out there, and it is all gone. So that's good to see. So they figured out that you can eat lettuce. I'll be keeping Goldie and Blondie. I think Chad's going to at least take the Pena de Cinca, which is the, the blue foot, and then I'll keep a, keep a few of them and that's how that's going to go. Let me dump this water over here. Let's get them a little bit of egg layer food. They ate quite a bit of that last night. I had dumped that out and put some fresh in there. That's, I'll just put a little on top of that. Boys, feeling good this morning. Yeah, they're finding the, the little wormies I put out there. Let me look for an egg. They, they really had a bunch of, I gotta get my wormies too. Uh oh, sorry, sorry, carry on, carry, uh oh, wait a minute, she got up. Hey, I was getting ready to sing a song. I was gonna sing a song, you wanna hear it? Hmm? It was, carry on my wayward son, there'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest, don't you cry no more, everybody. Dun 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 Don't you know that song? That's a good one from the 70s. Carry on my wayward son. Hmm? No? You don't like that one? All right. Y'all be good. Ah, funny story. You know, I, I sing. Well, I call it singing. I attempt to. It's more, it's more uh, caterwauling. But I knew it would happen. I had a... Uh, one of our Adler Farms family members. Hey Ralph, something about my, my singing. She says, uh, your tone is good or something. It's not bad. And this, you know, keep singing, but this is coming from a music teacher. And I went, oh no, I knew it. I knew somebody out there would be a singing, t a, t a teacher, a singing coach, or somebody that's professional and would, would hear me and uh, critique me. But she was very, very nice, very, very nice about it. So that's pretty funny though. I laughed, I told Leanne, I said, oh man, I've been busted. Music teacher caught me, caught me on video singing. Girl, you better be hoping pigs don't like to eat chickens right about now. Be Thankful she'd been fed, huh? <laughs> Sassy, I don't know what she was looking at. Nose to nose with Lola. You guys wanna look for wormies? It's... Here, just here, look under there first. Is there a bug? There was a big old bug. Not a wormy, but a bug, okay? Is there anything under there? Go check it and see, check and see. Yep, there's a worm. Hang under there. All right, what, okay, let, let's set the bucket down. Let's get, here, hang on, let me get your breakfast. Here, let's, let's spread this out a little bit. <clears throat> let's get this out like that. Here, I put this, over. okay, there we go. I, I have no control, none, zero. There's, there's no control this crowd. Help yourself, I don't care. I don't care, it's, it's just a buffet today. Oh, look out, I, hey, I am not in control this morning. 
it's gotten way out of hand. Here, get back there. Get back there. Oh, rats. Did you see? You knocked my wormies down. Oh, there's too many. I can't let you guys have all those. You little stinker, you got into the pantry all by yourself. Goodness gracious. Well, I better just hang on. I better throw them around now. Throw them down there to the turkey. Yeah, you little stink pot. Yeah, you guys have had a lot to eat today. Good grief. Yeah, I hope that don't make you sick. Too many, too many wormies. What do you think, big fella? Huh? You gonna stay here with Grandpa Foghorn? Hmm? I hope so. I think he is. That is the dirtiest who took a bath in that. That's nasty. That's, that's just absolutely gross. Woo, somebody went in there and that's a nasty. I don't even know if I want to dump that out in here. I ain't doing that. You don't want to eat part of that. Woo, that water stinks. <laughs> that that's awful it wasn't that hot yesterday i don't know why anybody i know you want under there you too get ready come on here we go i gotta keep these two anyway hey watch out honey coming down watch up hey i'm coming down come on come on come on watch yourself watch yourself watch yourself there we go oh goodness grace let's rinse this out man alive somebody camped out in there somebody did like a group poop or something Somebody did a group poop. Huh? That's nasty. Goodness gracious, please. Clean up after yourselves. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to, I tell you what, when I get my birds over there, we're gonna have to have some hygiene lessons. I got news for you. Yeah, we're not gonna allow this anymore. We gotta think something else. I have to train you to knock on the door and go outside and then come back in after you go poo poo. That's what I'm thinking. All right, what we got going on down here? Yeah, they said, uh-oh. Now, I ain't even been over there. Don't start hollering. I ain't even bothered you. I ain't even, even look, there's two of them in there, two ninjas. There's a ninja in that one, see her? And there's a ninja in that second one right there. And they just, they don't like it. Is there any eggs in that one? No. Any eggs in there? Oh, yeah, there's one in here. Two in there, three in there. Golly, I'm... Must have missed them last night. I just put three eggs in my pocket. One in each, three, three out of four pockets. Now I got something in them, three eggs. Now if I make it back to the house and don't make a mess on my pants, it'll be a miracle. Look at Foghorn. Step a little closer there, big fella. Come on, nose to nose over there. Beak to beak, nose to nose. They don't have noses, or do they? Yeah, they got nostrils. I think, all right, here we go. Let's go get, you know what I saw on top of here? Did y'all see that? Did you see it? Did you see it? I did, look at here. Three turkey eggs. Oh my lands, what am I gonna do with three turkey eggs? Well, I'll tell you what, before we go, let's uh, let's pet the cooney coonies. Yeah, come here, let's, you guys want a belly rub? Let's, what are you doing? Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Come here, yeah. Oh, listen, you know we don't do grape time till later. Hey, oh, look out. Boom. Oh. Oh, I got the staggers. Look out. She down. She slimed me. Uh, Bella is considerably a little bit, uh, little bit bigger. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yep. Get her morning belly rubs in. Bella, you gonna lay down? Hmm? So, ooh, sister, <clears throat> your feet stink. Just walk away. There she goes. Oh, there's the chicken. Sassy's over there. She's looking at the chicken. What is that over there? What is that, Bella? What is that, Bella? Hmm? What do you think? What is that over there? What is it? There we go. Oh, you know, now you're gonna lay down? Hmm? There we go. Uh, no, yes. There we go. Oh boy, that's it. That's all I could take. Okay. Is that it, Grandpa? Are we done? Yeah, we're done for right now. Always pretty coming back out. Love this view. Hey folks, remember earlier I told you we'd probably go on a road trip? Well, you're on the road trip right now. We're headed to Bentonville, Arkansas. The reason I'm going down here you know that infamous chicken coop that went from, I don't know, Arkansas to 
Arizona. Well, it ended up supposedly in Kansas City. But Leanne kept getting emails saying it was going to be delivered one day, then a week later, and a week later. And she finally got one that said something about the 29th or 30th of, of June, which we're already past that. And it's in Kansas City. Kansas City is about 150 miles north of us. But yet, they were pushing the date out again. Well, after numerous phone calls to the trucking company, uh, she finally made... You know, and, and not really getting any satisfaction. She finally called him one more time. The lady says, well, yeah. Uh, we, you know, she's kind of hum hawed around, and Leanne kind of pinned her down and said, look, where is it at? You know what the lady said? I don't know where it's at. She said, I do not know where that chicken coop is at. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You know, here's the frustrating part. Not only that, getting the runaround, you know, we paid our money for the thing and they used our money all this time. I was an hour away from it in the beginning. It just sounded nice and convenient to save a little gas money for the convenience of them just delivering it in, in maybe five or six days. I thought, you know, we can wait that long. We called Bentonville, uh, Arkansas Tractor Supply. They've got four of them in Bentonville, which is where we started out to get the one. So I called down there and said, hey, you got this thing? Yeah, I got it. So you gotta go online, pay for it, do the curbside thing. And so I said, hey, I'll be down to pick it up. So that's where I'm headed right now to finally pick up the chicken coop that we were supposed to have about, what, a month ago? So it's been quite the fiasco between Tractor Supply and the trucking company, and my goodness. I buy a lot from them. You know, we do business with them, and they've been great. But as far as ordering this, it's been, it's been, a, uh, uh, it's been a big, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just been a big uh, cluster. So anyway, I'm heading down there to pick it up. Thought I'd bring you all along, and then we'll uh, take a look at it. I hope I can get it in a pickup. They said it might be a little bit big, a little long, but it's in boxes, so we'll, uh, we'll tie her down. I brought some tie down. So, all right, let's. Uh, I'll see you when we get down there. Made it down. Went inside, got the paperwork done. Somebody said, "Hey, they'll be on their way with it. Sit tight." And I think, hang on. I think that's it coming right there. That'd be the one. Yeah, that's it. All right. Help him get it loaded up. Howdy, everybody. Happy 4th of July. Don't blow anything up or off. Be careful. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. For sure. Yes, happy Independence Day, everybody. Take it away, Grandma. Grandma was going to tell you more about the chicken coop ordeal. We started out in Joplin knowing that there was no chicken coop here, but there was one in Bentonville. We thought we could get it from Bentonville. The guy at Joplin said, no, you really need to order through them. You can call them or you can just get online and order it. So that's what we did. We got online, we ordered it. The problem was when we decided we wanted it shipped here, it doesn't come from Bentonville to here. We didn't understand that. It comes from a distribution center and you don't know where it's coming from until it gets to the trucking company and you can track it. So I started tracking it. We ordered it June the 8th. It shipped June the 10th. I kept tracking it almost daily, daily, and it was in Arizona forever. So I finally reached out to the trucking company and I said, hey, I see my chicken coop, but it's been weeks and it's sitting in Arizona. So this lady was very professional and she went and checked on it. She said, yeah, you're right, it's in Arizona. I will make a phone call and get it on its way. We were expecting to get it on June 20th. Well, got closer to June 20th, checked the email again. It was still in Arizona. So I called back, she assured me she would get it on its way. When I check it as, again, it's in Kansas City, Kansas. And like Ralph told you, that's what, three hours away from here? Roughly. So we thought, well, good, we'll get it overnight. And they had already given us an ETA on it. And it was like June 28th. The next day I checked, it was June 29th. It was a day later. So I called the trucking company again and I said, hey, June the 28th was gonna work for us. Why is it June 29th now? And she said, well, you're, three hours away from the terminal, so we have to add a day. She said, I tell you what, I will tell him that you need it tomorrow. 
And I said, that would be great. So we were supposed to get it June the 28th. My phone rang and it was the lady from the trucking company and she said, hey, she said, we got a little problem. She said, we don't know where your chicken coop is. And I said, it says it's in Kansas City, Kansas. And she said, well, I know what it says, but she says, they can't find it. They don't know where it's at. And she said, I think it's still in, in Arizona. So we were both really frustrated. And I told him, I said, look, just get online, order the one from Bentonville. He said, yeah, I'd rather just go pick it up, play it safe. He placed the order. I went to work and I was editing his video so I can check his email. I looked and he had ordered it and right after that it was canceled. So I texted him and I said, hey, did you cancel that chicken coop? Nope, didn't cancel it. So I call Tractor Supply and I called their customer care solutions. I got a hold of a lady who didn't realize she was customer care. She really couldn't help me. She didn't understand why it was canceled. She told me just to turn around and place the order again. I said, can you not help me and place the order and maybe see why it's being canceled? Nope, can't do that. I said, okay. So I went on. I tried three different times. I ordered it, and within uh, minutes, it was canceled again. So I was getting pretty perturbed. I was ready to just tell him, look, let's just do without a chicken coop or get one somewhere else or something. So I tried the number one more time, Customer Care Solutions. I believe in giving people credit when they do their job. And this little gal, her name was Alexis. She was exceptional. She apologized. She told me she was going to get on it. She wasn't even in Bentonville. She ordered it for us. She told me the reason why it was being canceled is because when there's a large item like that, we have to verify that it can be put on our credit card. They send an email. You say, yes, I made that purchase. And the order went right through. So she did her job that day and I really appreciate the customer care and the time that she took. She was very pleasant, very professional. So I want to give Tractor Supply a heads up that you've got one good gal working that I know of anyway in customer care solutions. You got the chicken coop and now all we got to do is put it together. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even sure if I want it now. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I want it. That is kind of how you work, which is kind of I know. why I kept it a secret from you, all the trouble that we were having getting one. Yeah, I'm just about ready to just order one already built. Anyway, I think hindsight's 2020. It never was more than about an hour and five minutes away. I should have just went down and got the thing. First day, they had four of them down there, you know, so lesson learned. Need some volunteers go back there and build that silly thing now. <laughs> Don't ask me again, Grandpa, did you get that chicken coop done? Don't ask me. All right, anyhow, thank you all for the condolences on uh, Short Stack. A lot of people, you know, yep. I'm telling you, animal lovers unite, including me. Yep. Uh, big or small. You, you did know. everything you could. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> the uh, bird uh, feeders, you know. There's a bird on it. I know, one bird. You know, I've tried all kinds of things, and I finally, I, I took the Irish, got, went and got Irish Spring Soap. And it's the real zingy, original, it's original on it, you know, smell. And so I took some pantyhose. I had, my, had, had me some pantyhose that I had that I wore. And they had runs in them. I couldn't wear them anymore. So I cut the legs off. The Irish Spring soap down in the toe, cut on, tied them up to the birdhouses right where the little deer would stick their noses. Ah, shoot, they've eaten almost every bit of seed out there. The Irish Spring soap, I don't care who else it worked for, didn't work for me. A lot of you out there are still requesting prayer for lost loved ones, illnesses, so forth. Keep them coming. We all are praying together. You know, a lot of people respond like you said last time. If we don't see it, somebody does. Keep it going. Thank you for praying for us. You know, uh, strength in numbers when it comes to prayer, right? Right. Okay. Love you guys. Adler Farms family is growing every day. We appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Just all we ask is that you watch. That's all we want. That's all we, that's all we request, you know, just something simple. Yep. Even if you fall asleep while you're watching or listening to me, because I do put a lot of people to sleep. My voice. So until next time, love you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a fun fourth. And a safe fourth. <laughs>